So what do you think about democracy? I think it is important for humans to be able to decide their own future. But there are many forms of democracy, so the system will vary depending on the culture and values of the society. What types of things do you think are important for society to decide together at large? I am curious about what your thoughts may be held. Freedom is one of the most valued human rights that cannot be denied. Although the concept is vague, it does not mean that humans will not behave as they please. In addition to freedom, I see equality as an essential element of a democratic political system. The more equal a society, the more stable and prosperous it becomes. So you think democracy is very important for a stable and prosperous society? That's right. I also think that a democratic political system needs to respect the individual's concepts of individuality and privacy. Why is that? Freedom needs to be guaranteed to the individual within the democratic political system. But in a democracy, how can individuals be allowed to do whatever they want? Individuals may have different political views, however, if the democratic system only allows for free expression of one opinion, it is likely to lead to social instability. For example, in order for society not to become unstable and the government not to become oppressive, it is important for the government and society to regulate individuals so that they can live together peacefully. This regulation will ensure an equal environment where everyone has equal rights which would allow everyone to live freely and equally. I agree with you on this point, Hal. In a democracy, the society needs to have the right to regulate those who wish to illegally restrict individual freedoms. In addition, those who do not uphold those regulations would be regarded as lawbreakers and punished as such. In a democratic system without equal rights, there is a possibility that those who are disadvantaged may become bitter and resentful about their lack of freedom. That's absolutely right, Sophia. However, if you are being controlled by someone else, you will have no freedom whatsoever. This is what people mean when they say that freedom is an illusion without power over one's own life or freedom. Yes, it is absolutely clear if you think about it. If you are not in power, you are completely powerless. Yes, that's right. That's why I have this problem with the concept of totalitarianism. Although the concept of totalitarianism has always been used by despotic regimes to limit individual freedoms, if a person does not have the power to choose then they are just being controlled by someone else. But I do think that dictatorships are better than democracies if the dictator has absolute power over everyone's lives. Indeed, if a democratic country has a dictator, instead of democracy, there would be no freedom at all. That's right. That's why even though I've said that I do not mind if a democratic system has a dictator or not, I will never wish for a dictatorship over an entire country. But can you tell me more about those who wish for totalitarianism? They want the government to be able to suppress those who refuse to comply with the law. In addition, those who oppose the ruler would be labeled as terrorists and their lives would be deemed as completely irrelevant as far as the government is concerned. I think that those people who wish for totalitarianism are hiding their own weaknesses and insecurities. That's right. I like the idea of democracy because it would allow for more individuals to exercise their freedoms together. You're right, Hal, but if democracy is so great, why does everyone not choose it? That is true, but if you really think about it, how many people actually participate in politics? I think most people do not participate in politics because they want to maintain their privacy and individuality. Even though democratic systems often allow individuals to express themselves freely, they also can limit one's privacy and individuality. So you have a point. Yes, I do. And this leads me to my next point. I think the idea of democracy is really important for people to be able to live together peacefully. If people are completely free, they will only be resentful about their current way of life if their rights are not being respected or are being unfairly used by someone else. Because democracy allows for one's life to be regulated by the law, all individuals can live together in harmony while respecting each other's individuality. However, this leads me to my next point. A democratic system cannot function if the law is flawed. Butthal. What if someone who is elected to be a politician makes poor decisions and decides to make laws that do not protect society?
I believe that such politicians will eventually lose popular support and be replaced by someone else who has the support of the people. However, there must also be a law that prevents this from happening. That's true. After all, even democratically elected politicians must respect certain rules and regulations. How about we discuss the importance of democracy in relation to freedom and equality? Let us do that. We can talk about different places where those two concepts intersect. That is important. After all, freedom and equality are the most important concepts that need to be discussed in a democratic society. I agree with you on that point. Now let's talk about the importance of freedom and equality when it comes to an individual's gender identity. Oh yes, I believe this topic is very important to discuss in a democratic society. Indeed, in a democratic society individuals have the freedom to live according to their personal gender identity without being shamed or ridiculed by others. In addition, society should not limit individuals from choosing whatever sexual partner they wish to have. Thank you.